All right, you guys, what's going on? It is 12.45 in the afternoon. I don't know why I always tell you guys what time it is. I guess it's so you guys kind of have a, a vague idea of how long my sessions take and how long it takes for me to learn a new trick. This is part three in my hopefully only three part sessions of learning feeble grinds. Yesterday I came out here and I landed a couple to fakey and I had one or two that pivoted out. Today I'm hoping to get one bona fide feeble grind to regular. I'm not gonna talk too much now. I'm not gonna even really warm up with some flat ground. Don't have much time today, so I really wanna just get on the rail. We're gonna do all we can to land this feeble grind. Yeah, let's get to it. We're not counting that. <laughs> what the heck, bro? Come on. Oh. 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 Yes! One more, one more. We got it. Yeah, we got it. Switch, shove it? Ah, I slipped down to a board slide. I'm not counting that one. I keep slipping out into a board slide, but honestly, I'm staying on the board and it's not flipping out. I think if I could get that perfect balance on my heel as I'm getting on there and not leaning forward into that heel flip, that I'll be good. So I'm gonna keep trying. Oh, come on. Let's go. <laughs> it only took three days. Three days, three hours a day. I wanna get one more. I gotta get one more. I gotta get one more. Yes! Woo! Let's go! That's two back to back, baby. Oh my God, what a feeling. I'm unbelievably ecstatic right now. I'm relieved. I'm stoked, I'm pumped. I honestly don't even know what to say other than that was a lot of work for the past three sessions or so. And it's only been, I don't, I don't remember what time I said I got here, 12.45 I think? It's 11.27 right now. It's been about 45 solid minutes of me just going at it back to back to back. And uh, honestly, I feel incredible. So I'm gonna try and get one or two more and then I'll explain to you guys what I've changed to actually help me land this feeble. All right, let's go. I wouldn't say that I have these consistently at all. I wouldn't say that I have mastered them, but it's kind of one of those things where you start to get the muscle memory for a trick and it, it becomes a little bit more consistent. It becomes a little less scary and you don't have to think as much when you, when you go for it. It's just a matter of whether or not you get the lock in or you get the flick right for a flip trick. I'm starting to get them now. You know, like I said, I'm not the master of these by any means, but I was able to get a handful of these done today in a number of different angles. I kind of want to talk a little bit about how I figured out the uh, the landing, because that was the hardest part. Now, for the first couple days, I was having issues actually getting onto the rail. The first issue I realized was that I was ollieing a little too high. I fixed that 
in yesterday's session when I came out here, the issue I was having yesterday was actually coming off of the rail. Now, as I came out today, locking in was not a problem at all, and going for a bigger portion of the rail wasn't as scary since I spent so much time doing it yesterday. So, of course, it's just putting the time into the trick, but what ended up happening today, the realization I came to was the reason I was, the board was flipping out was because I had so much pressure on my toe side, right? And I was occasionally leaning a little bit forward to kind of keep my balance on the rail. So what I tried doing now today was leaning maybe a little bit further back than I was comfortable with onto my heel, right? and a little bit more over my tail and kind of tweaking my front foot out a little bit. I'm honestly stoked. This is honestly a dream trick for me. This is something that I thought of since I was a kid, since I was skating like 10 years ago when I got my first rail. This will be the end of the Feeble Grind series. Of course, I'll be coming out here and, and, and practicing and training with these. We finally did it, guys. We finally did it and I honestly, I can't be any more happy. It's a beautiful day and we've learned an awesome new grind trick. And it's one of the first of many that we will get in our bag as we continue to learn new tricks. It just makes me feel good that I didn't spend all that money on this rail for no reason or just to do board slides, you know what I mean? Whew. So I'm gonna try and get a couple more angles, maybe some close up shots. Yeah, I'll talk to you guys at the end. Uh, this <laughs> this little kid was walking by with his dad and I was like I was re-watching some of the uh, the footage of some of the feebles I had just done some of those uh, close-up clips and I'm looking at my viewfinder because uh, it, it's kind of bright and I kind of have to like really focus to see what I'm what I'm doing and this kid's like is that guy frozen <laughs> yo kids are mad funny sometimes dog all right but anyway Upon further review, the ruling on the field does not stand. I mean, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Do you guys think that those are feebles? There was like a couple that I had slipped out into a board slide just in the last second. Now, once your truck, your front truck kind of clears off the edge of the, uh, the end of the rail, it does kind of make your board want to start to twist out. I'm new to this trick and, and I'm putting a lot of pressure on my back wheel to lock it in. Once I get towards the end, sometimes I had realized that I had to go back and watch the footage real quick, that I'm slipping out to a board slide and then I'm coming out like if I just finish a board slide. So I don't know if I wanna count it. I, I think there might've been one or two where I actually didn't slip into a board slide after I got into the feeble, but uh, progress is progress regardless, and I'm getting used to coming out in some way or form. And I think uh, as I continue to train on this rail and continue to, to really put in the work with the feeble grinds, I'll actually be able to come out to regular, straight from the lock-in. It's not necessarily disappointing. It means I still have some work to do before I think that this is over. That being said, the grind continues quite literally and figuratively. All right, I really wanna thank you guys for sticking with me through this journey. Again, if you guys think that those are bona fide feeble grinds, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Just keep in mind that I literally just learned them over a course of the past three sessions where I've really been training to focus on feeble grinds themselves. Now, of course, like I said, we have a lot of work still to do with them, and I'll continue to be out here and progress and really train as hard as I can to get those feeble grinds to the point where I'm actually content with them. We get a little bit more consistency. I'm still happy. Nonetheless, we've made some serious progress today. So that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keep shredding, stay safe. I love y'all, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.